Alright. So you gotta be completely honest. What do you think? I don't like it. What? Welcome back to JB Reviews. Today we are driving the Dooley home. We're kind of probably going back in time because I think I'm going to post this video a little later. But I've probably already unveiled my dually to you guys. But in this video, as you guys saw the title, I want my wife to give her reaction because this is her first time actually seeing the truck 100% complete. So I'm really excited. Well, I don't know what she's going to think. She saw the tires. She said, are you sure those are going to fit on that truck? And I was like, we're going to find out together. But I'm very surprised and shocked on how much lift I got from the tires. Like, it does feel taller compared to what it was with just the level. And I mean, that's obviously, it goes without saying, right? But yeah, I'm really surprised how much taller the truck feels. And I'll be honest with you guys, like I can't wait to give you my impressions on how it drives. So far, I'm actually surprised how well it drives. So we should be back to the house in about, 10 minutes and then like I said I'll let my wife kind of take it away here and if I do a drive video I will definitely bring her with me because she'll be a good you know testament to how it does now something else I need to figure out is how much faster this truck is I always get it mixed up but when you add a taller tire your truck is going probably slower than you actually are in reality because the taller tire is less revolution so yeah you basically have to get it recalibrated so I have to do a separate video with that too to show you guys just how much faster the truck is um, than what is showing on the speedometer but yeah that's a video we're gonna be doing too but like I said I'm about to pull into the neighborhood and let's go ahead and grab my wife man check out how girthy those tires are Whew. let's see I think I'm gonna park let me park in front of the main garage I mean, this truck is so big. Wow. You know what, I'm gonna have to put the garage up because, yeah, I'm gonna probably be in the sidewalk a little bit. <laughs> okay, so here, let me go grab her and then we're gonna go ahead and show her this monstrosity that I built for her. Cause I'm gonna trade in her Wagoneer. Just kidding. What's up, buddy? What's up? It's just me. Oh. oh, she's actually on the phone. Okay, she's on the phone. So let's give her a second and we will show her the truck. You guys have seen the truck already. <laughs> she's finishing up the phone call right now. Almost done. And we're going to show her this beast. It looks gnarly, guys. Like, I cannot wait. For you guys to see the truck and get your reactions too so yeah are you ready one second one second we're all waiting on you here it's like a woman you always gotta wait for your wife right are you ready i'm ready all right here we go all right so you gotta be completely honest what do you think? I don't like it. What? what? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hey, wow. you actually scared me for a second. I was like, uh oh. Yeah, it looks really good. What do you think? It looks good. Wow. These. The mirror. Yeah. What do you think about the this wheels nice. and tires? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. that you kept a little bit of chrome on there. Yeah, me too. I, I was actually a little nervous about it, but Holy yeah. Holy cow, these are huge tires. Yes. Golly. They don't look that big though to me now because this truck is so huge. I don't think they look that big. They're really big. Yeah. I mean, this truck <laughs> is almost as tall as I am. <laughs> oh wow, it is actually, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I thought it came out perfectly. So Wow. So the bumpers, you see the bumper to paint it now? Looks very good. Do you remember the front end had a chrome grill and bumper? Now check out the front now. What do you wow. think? Wow, yeah. It looks, it looks mean. A lot better. Yeah. I like it. Like all black. I like that you kept these accents here. Yes. Yeah, so they wrapped the hood scoop and then they cut out that Chevrolet. Wow. Such a great attention to detail there. And we peep you off the bumper. Yeah. And like I said, good. just blacked everything else out, but it looks so good. Wow. 
Yeah, and oh yeah, by the way, on the windows. Yeah, wasn't this chrome here? Yep, so the bottom piece was all chrome. Now they originally went with the uh, gloss black. That's what so I wanted. So it was this color. So it was like this, because I figured it would do well, but it did not look good because all of this plastic, it just collided with it. So they decided to redo it. And yeah, it Thanks looks too. perfect. Now I'm seeing something here. Is this PPF right here? So JC Automotion, this was something that they threw in for me. So they decided, because I told them it was going to be a rental truck, they decided to add these like cups to protect the paint. Nice. So my nails won't just hit. Yep. And actually, you know what? Now that you say that, they actually did this too. So they added this for me. So this is actually protected too. Oh, right here. Yeah, I can see it. You see it? it? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I think the build came out perfectly. What do you think? So I want your honest opinion. What do you think about the tires out back? They're very beefy. These are mean looking. They're wide. Yeah. They're. Do you like how they stick out though? I like, I like how it's poked out. I, I feel like it's just enough. I don't know if I'd want it to be further out than this. Yeah. This is as far as, cause then it would look like a Tonka truck. <laughs> yeah. Which I mean to each his own, but I like, I think this is the perfect amount of. I know out. it came out perfect. Like I, I'm really happy with it overall you know look of this truck i think it looks mean and it's like not overdone yeah yeah it looks stock like it looks yeah. like a really nice stock truck like they like there's this is a package or something That's okay what it looks like to me well ram does have a blackout but gm as you know now they don't have this for the dualies so hopefully my goal is for them to add this so yeah all i have to do in the future is just add tires if i decide to get another chevy truck now would you do the 35 would you do this or do you like this? You know, so we talked about it at the shop. So we were thinking about either a burnt orange. Someone mentioned white too. And I was like, you know, white would actually be kind of cool. But I don't know. I think that I don't think I'm going to do anything because I like that it has the chrome accents and it doesn't really collide. Like at first, I thought, man, a blackout truck shouldn't have chrome emblems, but it doesn't look bad. You know? I like it. Yeah, because I'm not doing anything with the ones up here. Yeah. So I figured maybe just maybe with the accents on the mirrors. I mean, I could darken those a little bit because I don't really like the way they, they pop out a little too much. But I don't know. I don't think I'm going to spend any more money because this was already kind of expensive. So I think it looks really good. You did a great job. Thank you. They did a great job. Yeah, JC Automotion. They actually talked me into doing the painted bumpers. And they changed the gloss up here to a matte. And they did wrap these. And they look good. I mean, I think that the truck came out perfectly. Like, I'm really happy with the overall styling of it because to your point the goal was to stay as close to stock so like if jim were to build a blackout this is what it would look like minus the 37s so you like it i like it okay it looks really good i'm treating it the wagoneer what for, yeah so you can so this could be your truck i mean i was gonna rent it out but i figured if you liked it i mean i might i'd rather you drive it. i mean you go ahead and hop in there let me see how you look in this beautiful <laughs> truck let's see how you look show you how short my wife is <laughs> yeah wow you are short oh my goodness i never noticed how short you are all right go ahead and put the one in let me see how you look oh my goodness i'm in love again i'm in love again yes i think you look good in this but we won't get rid of the wagon here. i'm just kidding with you Unless you want to. Man, it looks so good. I want you guys to see the girl out back. Wow, look at that beast. That looks so good. That looks so good. Wow. Yeah, I think I'm in love. I think we're gonna have duelies for a long time on the channel. This sold me. Absolutely sold me. That is thick. So what did you just say just now? I felt it rubbing. <laughs> yes, yes. So, do you remember on the Ram, like when it was rubbing and then probably about 5,000 miles in the stop? 
Yeah. Yeah. So I think we'll see. I could add a spacer on the front, but I don't want to add any more spacers on this truck. I feel like there's too much as it is. If I did that, I think it would stop rubbing. But I think once the tires wear down a little bit, we'll be in the green. So be sure to stay tuned. I will do a drive video with my wife so you guys can get her impressions on how it rides. She loves soft riding vehicles. She hates these rough riding trucks that I have, which is why she did not want to drive my trucks anymore. There is a Ford F-350 available, by the way. Just saying, if you want to trade that Wagoneer in. Oh, but <laughs> Just kidding. We won't do that. Well, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And we have to hook up the fifth wheel. You can kind of see the back of it right there. So we got to hook this bad boy up to it, too. Peace.